Hello, in this video, I will be making a health component. It is an actor component which can be applied to characters, artificial intelligence, and even props like crates and much more. Here is a short demonstration, where we test out crate damage aka these cubes, we can destroy them with this fire pad, and we can also punch the crate for it to lose damage, when they die, it gets destroyed but you can do whatever you want with their deaths. We also have the player, and when he dies, the game pauses. The health component can also be used for other artificial intelligence and props instantly with easy adjustments. Additionally, we also make it so we can add health to these actors too. Anyway, back to the tutorial, in order to do this, let's create our first blueprint, the actor component. These components can be added onto actors just like if you added a projectile movement or character movement component. This component can be used by multiple actors. Name the health component and then we can open it up. We can delete the event tick. Keep the begin play as we are going to use it. Next, we will need variables which are floats. They will be our health values. The current health and max health. You can assign them default values. After, add a custom event. This will be to update our values so we can just call it adjust health. This one event will be used to increase and decrease the health. Now to go back to the event, this is simply getting the current health and adding on a float amount. We can make that an input, so we can make change our value depending on damage or health pickup values. Now to set the health, but importantly, we want to clamp the values between zero and max health. It is important so we don't go over the limit, we added a max health variable because we can have values greater than one and it's easy for upgrades. If you have UI for health, then you can also update the progress bar or text here. But after all that, we can focus on the death part, with a branch. The condition would be current health less than or equal to zero. Better to make a death event, I want to make sure this component is easy to expand on. We can stick it in the true branch. Also, it is good to make an is dead boolean. Make sure in the death event, to set it true. And for now I want to just do a print string. Later on, I will show you actual death feature. Now, we go to the event begin play so we can work on the damage part. We will need to get the owner of this component in order to apply damage. Then we can search up a node called assign on take damage and you will find a few options, I just like going with any, but you can test out the other ones. We use assign, just because it automatically makes a custom event for us, we can name this event, on damage taken. This event will be used whenever any object gets damaged. We just need to call it adjust health. For the damage, it already comes with an input, we just need to multiply it by a negative so instead of adding health, we lose health. Here is the comment to explain why. As I won't be adding a user interface for this video, you can just use a print string where we print the current health. Now, compile and save. We need to add these components to anything, characters, props. In order to this, just go to these actors, for now I will just give my player health. Open up the player character, and then go to the components tab and simply find your actor component in that search list. You can also adjust the values of the health if you want. That's all done, we just got to do a few more things. Create a new blueprint actor, I want this to be a fire pit, something to hurt the player. You can create a master object to help make this simpler. In this actor, I will add a cube, and a box collision. The box collision will cover the top of the cube. We can then go to the green events for the box in the details panel. Select on begin overlap. 
I will show you a simple damage system and cover how you can make an object to damage specific players or even an object that damages anything. First, let's damage the player, we can do this by casting to the character and then apply damage. Then enter a damage value, I will make mine a variable by right clicking and promoting it to variable so I can change my value around in the editor viewport. This will mean the fire pit damages the player, but in order to damage any character or object, you just have to skip the cast bit and just do apply damage. If you compile and save, we can do our first test. Put the fire pit or damage object into the world. As you can see, it works, we get damaged and it knows when we are dead. I am now going to put other actors to the test with health components. This props will just be a normal crate. This crate can be damaged by a punch system like in the Lego games. This crate is just going to be a cube with a box collision, you can do whatever you want with it, the shape is not the important part. After that is done, you can add in the health actor component. I think this is a good time to test if the fire pit will destroy other objects other than the character. I am going to put this crate on top of the fire pit and simulate physics to drop it. To enable the drop, you can just go to the actor, go to cube, and simulate physics in the details panel. As you can see, it worked, the crate got damaged by the fire pit. I am also moving it around to check if it gets damaged again until it dies and that works too. Now I just have to make it so players can damage the crate, and we need to do two more things after that, the death system and health pickup. Now I am going to make a temporary system that pretends to be the punch system. Usually you would have keyboard key or mouse event to punch and when that sphere trace collides with object, you deal damage. However, for this episode, I want to just do a simple collision system. This is because in the future, I will post a punch system tutorial. So let's go to the crate, and use this box collision. It's similar to the earlier method, except this time, we cast to the player, and when we apply damage, the damaged actor would be self, because the player is damaging the crate. We should make the collision a bit bigger, so we can collide with it. As you can see, we accomplished a simple damage system. With all this in place, we just have to improve the death system, so we can actually see these objects as dead objects. In the health component, go to your death event. This is just a quick and dirty method but as our component will be used for all our actors, we need to make sure our death event covers it all, a simple way of doing it is with a branch node and checking between certain classes, maybe even casting or just using interfaces, or even an enumeration and using a switch node. Anyway, we will use a branch node, the condition is the check if the owner is the player or not. We can do this by using a get player character and checking if it equals to the get owner. This can get messy, I will just write some comments, you can have various deaths from simulations to animations to destroy actors, particles, and so on. This branch will divide all that and we can go into the specifics later on, if you are confused, 
comment below because I can explain better and in other ways so you can get a functioning death system. Ok, so for the object's death, we can just do get owner and then destroy actor. I will write a comment here, it's not too important, just an overall note of what I just said. Anyway, for the player, I don't have anything, so I will just pause the game. Now to test what happens, first to see if an object gets destroyed, we have two ways of destroying the crate, a punch, or dropping it in the fire pit. That was successful. Now to see if the game pauses and it does. I am now going to increase the health, let's say the crates get 25 as max health, and 15 as their current health. This just means their health is like 1500 HP and goes up to 2500 HP. This was just to show that you can have health higher than 1.0. This is the health component done. We just have to do the health pickup, create a blueprint actor and just give it a simple mesh and collision. Making the code is very simple, we did this a bit earlier with the on take damage event. We just have to do a similar thing when we collide with a pickup. Now, press the green event, the begin overlap, we just have to cast with player. And then get the actor health component, this way we can call the adjust health function we need this to add the health. And simply add the values in the health added. After collecting a pickup, we can just destroy actor, as it has been used. We should also make a check so that we don't pick up health once we have full health, we can do this with a branch, the condition would be if player's current health is less than their max health, then pick up the item. Now to test it, I will go damage myself and then pick up health, once I am full, I cannot pick it up again. This is now a complete, we can also expand on this later on with other features related to health. Hope you enjoyed this video, comment below if you have a problem or video idea, also consider subscribing and sharing my channel around. See you next time.